In this video series, we are going to be creating a simple 3D monster in ZBrush using a few basic techniques. To begin, we will just create a new Dynamesh sphere in the light box. So just double click on that and then hit no to get your nice sphere. So to begin making our little creature, what we're going to be doing is activating symmetry. Uh, so what you can do is you can go to transform and you can turn on X symmetry or just hit X to turn that on. So you can always check to see if symmetry is active up here and alternatively if you look at the model you'll see a, like a second brush. You can kind of see it on the other side and what that does is it just sculpts wherever you sculpt but it just mirrors it along the X axis. So the first thing we'll do is we'll hit B, C, B to get to the clay buildup brush and then we'll increase the brush size and what we're going to be doing is making a little monster face. So we'll give it like a mouth and then we'll give it some eyes and this will be like the body and the head simultaneously. It'll be a body head situation. And then another thing we can do, you'll probably be like up here, you'll wanna scroll down to geometry, click on geometry right here, then go to Dynamesh and increase this to 100, and then drag by holding in control. And what it'll do, you can see the polys, it'll actually update the resolution so it's higher, so that when you sculpt into it, you can get more detail. So now that we have more detail in our model, we can start to refine the eye sockets a little bit more and the mouth as well. So I'm just holding an alt while sculpting to sculpt into the model. I'll just kind of define these features, these very basic features. We'll give him some eyebrows by just sculpting without holding an alt, so just sculpting normally. We can give him like a nose ridge. Just by sculpting in this here. So now he has like some eyebrows and a nose. Then we can sculpt in his mouth a little bit. And then at any point in time when Dynamesh is active, you can hold in control and drag and it'll update your resolution. So you can see it doing that here. So that's useful when you're adding and taking away form. So if you're pushing something in, you can see it's starting to stretch a lot. You can Dynamesh to increase the resolution slightly to like kind of match the rest of the model. All right, so now we have a sad little monster thing. So let's give it some more mass up here. So you can just tap with your stylus or click uh, you should have a stylus for ZBrush because like that's the whole point is to sculpt. So using a mouse with ZBrush is pretty difficult. So we're going to give him some more eyebrows just by sculpting with the clay buildup brush. And then we'll give him, we'll hold an alt and sculpt this down. To make him a little creepy. We'll do the same thing for his mouth. This is the type of creature he is. You can hold down shift to smooth. Now you want to be careful with smooth because sometimes it destroys details, but it is something that is useful for blending. All right, so here's our little monster face. <laughs> so far he has some basic facial features he has a nose uh, so we're gonna actually dynamesh so just hold down control click and drag and then hit bfa for flatten brush we're gonna flatten some of these details out for the next video so this will just be set up for the next stage so we're gonna flatten out this bridge here uh, we can flatten out some of this this also gives you like sharper angles. So we're like flattening this way and then we're like flattening this way on this plane. I can flatten some of this out. And we can even flatten this out. 
like the bottom of the nose here. Start to flatten some of these planes. And then we can flatten out some of this mouth. And then some of this. So that is BFA to get to the flatten brush. It's useful for flattening out things to like clean up details or to uh, simplify shapes. Then we'll flatten out parts of this. So we're like flattening along this. It's kind of make his face less spherical because we didn't really modify the sphere. Uh, he's just starting out as a sphere. And then one thing we can do here to finish up this video, we'll hit B M V for the move brush and lips usually aren't like this. So we're going to actually drag this down. We'll drag that down. We'll drag some of this down for his upper lip. We'll kind of refine this a little bit by using the move brush. Kind of move some of this stuff down. All right, so there's our, there's our little monster guy. He looks pretty sad, but we'll update him in the next video to make him look much cooler. And then we'll add like arms and legs and stuff as we go throughout this basic starter series. So thank you for watching this. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas for videos you would like me to make or things you'd like me to cover. And I can always make videos on those. But thank you for checking this out and I'll see you in the next video.